Kendiland? Kendiland. Kendiland. Candyland. Man, that ice cream looks good as hell. Oh, man. I watched um, the Redeem Team, the Netflix uh, basketball documentary. Ah, the, yes. Uh, the men's, uh, U.S. men's uh, Olympic basketball team. That was good. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I it like sports right. documentaries. Yeah, same. I don't actually like playing sports much or watching sports, but I like sports documentaries for some reason. I think I've watched more documentaries about basketball than I've seen actual basketball. I watched The Last Dance. I watched all the... Uh, oh, bad, The Last Dance is really good. All the bad sport episodes with, like, you know, Hoop Headache Dreams. Smith. Yeah, Hoop Dreams. Uh, the Sixth Man, where it's a, it's a direct ripoff of Angels in the Outfield, but the ghost helps them score baskets instead of, uh, like, catch fly balls and stuff. Malice at the Palace. Yeah, I, I, I bet I've seen less real basketball. Is Malice at the Palace good? Malice at the Palace is definitely worth watching. I'll watch that next then. I would definitely, because, you know, it's crazy to watch it. You know, I was like 16 when Malice at the Palace happened. It was very easy to be sanctimonious and be like, under no circumstances should a professional athlete punch a fan in the face. Then watching this shit as like an adult and being like, that dude deserved to be punched in the damn face for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's absolutely oh, no man. doubt. I yeah, watched that. I watched all four current seasons of The Crown recently, which oh, was pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's not about basketball, so I will not that watch is it. Not, it's not a sports documentary. Do you think oh. Queen Elizabeth II could hoop back in her day? No. Honestly, probably, yeah. I don't think so. I wonder I if she ever held a basketball. That's a great Legit. question. Do you, did... She must have done like a photo op with Michael Jordan or something at some point. Yeah. She was always like kind of. She knew. Do you think like, he about, had her like the hold the ball stuff, and right? then he ran up and grabbed it? <laughs> he smacked and, like, it out of her, over hand. her and... <laughs> <laughs> Big denial. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm laughing because someone in chat said, Can any British person who. <laughs> I'm sure the no, answer yeah, is yes, but that's true. Actually, I guess yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not that common. There's got to be British NBA players, like one or two. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I think it's 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 John getting... Stockton is like the most British. <laughs> it's name very big British. in Europe, though. Basketball now, isn't it? Like more so than it probably was. Like I don't know in the '80s or whatever. Like yeah, but it's always like Lithuania. You're always like who's who are they playing in the uh, in the finals? It's oh, like oh, it's Spain, Argentina, the U.S., and Lithuania, Greece. Yeah. Yeah. Zach Galifianakis, my favorite. There are so that's true. There's some very British sounding names. Like you're you're telling me Julius Irving wasn't? Uh, he's not from Derbyshire, Derbyshire. <laughs> Derbyshire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Julius Irving, King's College. <coughs> OG Anubi is from the UK. Well, there you go. Who the heck is OG Anubi? He's a good guy. Sounds like the final boss of Spelunky 1. You, you wouldn't know. <laughs> okay, true, true. <laughs> Damn, Melf. Yeah, he's on the Raptors. Get it, Ryan. Canada's team. I don't watch basketball, okay? And both of the teams that I root for in the MLB, one of them eliminated the other one, and then they got eliminated. All right, what uh, are you a Montreal Expos fan? I was back in the day, briefly. Yeah, but I'm I'm like uh, I don't really watch more of a baseball. Blue Jays guy now. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Mariners guy, and then Blue Jays second for like some national uh, pride. But they Mariners the was uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Right? Ken Griffey Jr. Ichiro. Uh, Jamie Moyer, <laughs> all sorts of two like really, really, really good players, and then like a lot of people that also like played uh, baseball. Oh shit! Oh god! I don't watch baseball. I'm not gonna watch hockey anymore either because we lost to the Flyers yesterday. That I, it is disgusting. Um, Someone I, I follow was like, yo, Philly's just like killing it in sports. And then I was going to reply like, <laughs> not no Red Sox. And then I looked at the score and how they were beating Vancouver. And I was like, oh, I can't. Did I can't Pete Rose that. used to play for the Red Sox? He played I, used for the to, Reds. I remember I, 
Oh, was it the Reds? Yeah. I used to have a Pete Rose hologram sticker in my my baseball panini sticker book <laughs> when I was a kid. And I remember taking it to school one time and this guy at my school was like, oh my God, you got a Pete Rose hologram? Like I knew, like I had no idea the value of this or whatever. And I still, it's still debatable whether it was actually worth anything. But th I just remember this guy losing his mind about... Was it a classmate this... or like a, a, a man? Like a no, no, it was, man. uh, it was like, he, no, he's just like a kid at my school, but I th he was in, he was like a year or two older than us. Mm. So like he was, uh, he was in like grade, I don't know, like six at the time. I was in like grade four. Like I was only a little kid. I was like 10 or something. I, I, I had I I told you I think guys. his dad like collected Ooh. cards or something like that. So he, he knew like all this stuff about stickers and cards or collectibles. I don't know. I might have told you this before, but one I, like maybe 1995, oh, 1996. Oh no! Um, I bought uh, hockey cards at McDonald's. I was a little kid, so they came with like my Happy Meal. Opened yeah. it up, and there was a uh, a gold foil Patrick Waugh when he was still with no the, way with, with the Montreal Canadiens. Jeez! And right as I opened it, my parents told me a guy came over and was like. I'll give you 80 bucks for that card right now. <laughs> and then my parents were like, no deal. Because if you're going to give us 80, it's probably worth like 200 or something like that. And then uh, every once in a while, like my parents still have my hockey cards. And uh, <laughs> I, I look it up and that shit is worth like 75 cents. <laughs> it turns out they they printed uh, a, lot of, a lot of cards at McDonald's during the 1990s. The supply and demand calculation is not favorable for collectors. I think you should take your parents to small claims court. Well, I mean, <coughs> yeah. they're, no, it's the opposite. They're trying to give me my hockey cards, and I'm my, my legal position is they bought that shit, so it's their property. It's all junk. Every time they visit, or every time I visit them, they're like, you know, we got like five thousand hockey cards in uh, like a Rubbermaid container in the basement. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, wow, that sounds like something. They, yeah, they should, might like, be worth something one of these days. I don't, them. Die, dude. Know. Like sports cards from the '90s, they're like, they're they're overprinted and like, at, I don't think I. They're like almost all pro sets, which are worth worth nothing, and you know, it's like the, the thing is like they. It's like a loss of aversion thing. They're like, we spent, I don't know, probably like a thousand bucks on these cards in the 90s. So we want to like recoup some investment for them. But like the time cost to go through them and be like, is this thing worth any money is too high for what you're going to get. So yeah. we're just trapped. Like we're, we're trapped in this this limbo. And I'm like, just throw them in the garbage. Oh. Or the recycling. Oh, man. Or like You're give gonna him, feel so bad if you do that though. Give him there's like some somebody you know is gonna like get divorced and they're gonna need something to do with their time. Give them the hockey cards. They can like relive their childhood and put the shit on eBay. You, you guys know. ever have like uh at school a teacher that collected stamps that tried to get everybody into stamp collecting? I did not. No. Uh no, but I had a teacher that was a huge Iserman fan, so like he would give you really good trades anytime you had an Iserman card. Really? I got a no. sweet Brendan Shanahan out of it, yeah. Nice. Nice. We had a teacher who was into stamp collecting and he tried to like show us like how fun it is to stamp collect, like the book and the tweezers and like carefully putting the stamp into the thing and finding all the stamps that like had something to do with each other or whatever. And uh so like I expressed some interest in this as a kid um because i thought it was just like kind of fun or whatever but like i would just take like old stamps off of letters and i was trying to like you know build a collection as you do when, you, when you're a kid and one year for christmas my mom and dad got me a stamp book and just like a like a whole bunch of stamps like it was like a box of like novelty stamps and i hated it because it was just they were all like fake stamps like they weren't worth anything or or <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it took all the fun out of collecting the stamps. They basically I just they had just gave this, you stickers, essentially. This gigantic stockpile of, like, <laughs> yeah, of these stamps. I, I, I just didn't even do them. I just thought, this sucks. I'm not doing this. When I was a kid, my, my grandpa had, like, a coin collection from around the world. They weren't, like, valuable coins. They were just like, hey, here's what they used to, like, buy coffee in Italy or whatever. And I always thought it was so cool. 
Then I got older and I realized you can literally just like go to the bank and like get that. Like this shit is not rare at all. <laughs> you, could, you could walk up to the bank with like a ten dollar bill and be like, "Give me ten dollars Italian," and they'd be like, "Here you go. Give me give me ten dollars in Turkish lira," and they'd be like, "All right, there you go." I know. I thought it was well, oh, when I, I was a kid. It was so cool. <clears throat> yeah. Did I ever tell you guys? Uh... Oh, when I was shit. younger, I had a I had a Phil Esposito card. Ooh. Not that they're rare or anything. Like it wasn't a very good one, but you know I liked it and I knew he was a good player. And there's a girl in my class who uh, was like, "Oh, my uncle is Phil Esposito." I was like, "Yeah, all right." I think she was like... lying or whatever. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I can get a sign for you. So I brought oh. it in. <laughs> I gave it to her, and the, like after like two months of me being like, "Hey." I don't even, it doesn't even have to be signed. I just want my card back and I get it back. And uh, so, like, I remember one morning she was just like scribbling on her desk. Oh, no. And then she turns around and she came. <laughs> like, the worst <laughs> signature oh, I've ever seen no. on it. Oh, oh man. man. That's so good. Anyways, freaking jerk. <laughs> I still remember, like, I, I was big into Pogs, but Crazy Bones was kind of like my my era. That's where I applied my trade. I uh -huh. still remember there was a, a, I don't remember if we went to high school with him. He was one of those kids who, like, he came for, like, two weeks in the ninth grade, and then we never saw him again. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah. I hope he's doing well. Except, um, in sixth grade, we were playing Crazy Bones. <coughs> and, I, you know, you, you set your Crazy Bone across from the other person. And if you knock over their crazy bone with yours, you get to keep it. I remember I threw my crazy bone. Now, there's a complicated series of events here. I threw my crazy bone at his crazy bone. It collided, knocked over his crazy bone. Simultaneously, the bell rang. And then he just basically went cheese it, grabbed my crazy bone and his, put it inside of his bag, and then ran away went to his class like across the school so not only did i not get the crazy bone that i should have gotten because i knocked over his crazy bone but he took the crazy bone that i threw at his crazy bone it was a like a double steal that's rough i still and i remember his name i'm not going to say it because people be calling you never know he might be out there lurking yeah oh <laughs> no he's probably alive he's probably out there probably out there probably. swindling some someone else He's, he's a, he was a bit of a, a swindler. I blame the parents. At the time, I didn't. Now I blame the parents, though. What the heck do you do here? Oh. Oh, I see the water can bring you over to this bit. What are we What are we doing over here, though? I don't oh, know. Baby. I don't even that. know how the heck we get. You got to go like off the rocks here, I think. Maybe like against the current. Nope. Oh, I, I'm going to just try to cheese it over here, I think. Oh, crap. It did not work. Is there any money in Pogs? Because I still got them all. No, I, like almost all that shit from the 90s when when we were kids is like there's just such a huge supply of it. They, they yeah. printed like a massive amount. It's the same with a lot of the toys like in the 80s, like that had all the accompanying cartoons for them and stuff like P-Man and all that. Yeah. A lot of it's just come back now. It's but the wait, same toys as well. Long they, enough. they reissued G.I. Joe's recently, too, I saw. Because if, but, if enough people like, no, these pogs are never going to be worth anything. I'm just going to throw them out for once and all. Then I make the money. Yeah, if you have your gotta, pogs like I, hermetically sealed because they're made of the cheapest well, no, cardboard but, that money can buy. I mean, they're in their little cases, so they're good. Oh my god. I know. I'm... I mean, it's probably like... I bet companies that like mold things out of plastic buy crazy bones. It's probably cheaper than buying the plastic. No. They can just melt I it didn't... down and, and make whatever they want. I didn't do crazy bones. I got a metal... Uh, metal slammer. Yeah. Does it have? Is it like a a, a saw? It's the Does saw it blade have... oh, with the dude. international symbol for man on it. <laughs> and I, I I I I would carry that around. I felt like a man when That's I held off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And, oh, I had like a, a bunch of WWF <clears throat> um, slammers that had the finger grooves on them, so you could put your finger oh yeah into yeah. the plastic and really get a. I had a Ted DiBiase one. Ooh. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior one. I remember I lost the Ted DiBiase one one day in a, in a no holds barred uh, pod <laughs> match. It was like a very traumatic moment for me. Man, did you guys ever play the WWF wrestling game on the NES, like the original one? It had like the Honky Tonk Man in it, and it had uh, Million Dollar Man and Hulk Hogan. And... I only go got in on the uh, N64 ones. I was a oh SNES yeah, you guys boy. are a bit. You guys are younger, yeah, that's right. Well, Smash we had the the NES and, and all that. We just didn't have those games on it. The NES and the SNES? Yeah. No. I'm through. Oh, you freaking ball. Oh, shit, <laughs> An OJ Simpson slammer. Oh, man. That would go great with my, my Tanya Harding pogs. <laughs> if you could get an OJ Simpson slammer signed while he was in the slammer. Dude! If I slammed it, so true. <laughs> Isn't he still in the slammer? He's back in now. No, he's just chilling. He's just no. Like I think he's. I think he was arrested again for like breaking into somebody's house and trying to steal steal OJ memorabilia back what? from him. That was that was like fifteen. And years also, ago. he was he was convicted for like stealing a satellite dish from some <laughs> somebody's attic or something like that in Florida as well. He's just a guy now. He's he's out. Are you that sure? Was, yeah, that stuff. He's on I, Twitter now. Yeah, yeah he's on Twitter. He's always he's making like uh, little videos about how he feels about the day's news. It's always like uh, insane because he's like he wants people to go tougher on crime. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, that's the, that's how you know he's guilty. He, he, here's the thing: he, he got off, and now he wants to pull the ladder up uh, underneath him. Dude, you know what? It would be instead of celebrity boxing, they should have like celebrity uh, Among Us, but it's like all ex convict celebrities, okay. you know, yeah. like OJ and Mar like Martha, Martha Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, that was that was number two. That was number two. For me. <laughs> Martha Stewart, um, Robert Blake, um, yeah. Kevin Spacey. <coughs> Kevin Spacey oh, yeah. isn't actually in jail, though, is he? No. But he's, he's been cancelled, so what's the difference? I suppose, yeah. Wasn't he trying to like come back at some point? But Yeah. Then but then I think yeah, I think that he was he's been charged in the UK now for like some stuff as well. Um, I don't know if they can get him I don't know if they can get him over though. They'd have to like extradite him or some shit, I don't know. What do you know? <laughs> Nothing. I hear I hear tidbits, Malf. I try to string them all together, but <clears throat> it's never right, you know. Come I want to make a detective movie and cast you as the lead detective. Yeah, that'd be good, actually. Like it could be like the guy, like the guy from Memento. I could like uh, tattoo. No, all the but like more onto... like L.A. noir kind of. Oh yeah, I, you know L.A. Good. Confidential. You ever see more that movie? More my more my generation. As L well. L.A. Confidential, starring. Kevin none, none other than Kevin Spacey. It's true. <laughs> it's still a good movie, though. It's still a good yeah, movie. Yeah. Oh, you gotta oh, use I... the left mouse button to do a jetpack. I'm insane. Yeah. I'm I'm actually incredible. <coughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually an idiot. Never mind. I'm okay. I had something to say. I forgot what it was. Oh, did you guys know? Have you ever seen the Mark Wahlberg quote about how if Mark Wahlberg was on uh, one of the planes on 9-11, that shit wouldn't have gone down like that? No. Um, I've, I've heard of I it. I share yeah. a birthday with him, though. Let me look it up, because it is... Um, that Just the story itself doesn't do it justice. You really need the direct quote. Just let me type in Mark Wahlberg uh, 9/11. So, he, so he's saying if he was on one of the planes, it would have never. Ha so, what was he? <clears> what, what did he? What was he going to do then? Take one plane and crash it into the other two planes <laughs> no, no, to no. prevent listen, the whole thing listen, from happening? Okay, here's the don't. I don't want him to be taken out of context here. Okay, right. That's the the main. It's the media is always trying to do that. So here's what he said exactly. If I was on that plane with my kids, there would have been a lot of blood in the first class cabin, and then the passengers would have heard me saying, okay, we're going to land somewhere safely, don't worry. Wow. He said that? He said that. You... Really... Assure yourself. 
I feel like if you're saying that to yourself in your mind, that's fine if it just stays there. But like to 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 vocalize that is a bit bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Like, how is that any different to you? Like, um, well, I don't know, man. It's just. I think he's so just what up. he's trying to say, but without being taken out of context. What he's trying to say is that the passengers that were actually on the plane, they just didn't like want it bad enough. If Mark yeah, Wahlberg was there, it's, they, I mean, they, they needed uh, a, a big time Hollywood actor, I think, to lead them, to, to inspire their courage. Wait, what? but he wasn't even really a big time Hollywood actor back then, was he? Around 9-11? 2001. Well, he'd just done um, the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes. So he was oh, he was okay, on top of the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty big, was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Maybe. maybe when was that's... Boogie Nights? That was like 1997. Boogie Nights, say no Still riding that high. What the heck is this? Three Kings as well. Yeah, yeah. Three Kings. That's a, that's a good movie. So With the uh, Ice Cube. And Ice George, Cube, Clooney. George Clooney. I'm telling you, if I was on those planes, that shit would have gone down the exact same, probably. <laughs> I probably would yeah, have. Yeah, no, me uh, too, actually, yeah. Probably would have. I think the only, myself, the only, uh, <laughs> the only <laughs> difference out of all the things that happened uh, on that fateful day would be uh, there would be a grown ass man just uh, bawling his eyes out at the back <laughs> of one of the planes. They, you would find my uh, skeleton, like one of those ones in Pompeii. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Clutching my Nintendo Switch console. <laughs> well, oh, he, did, he died doing what he loved. Uh, playing into the breach, trying to ignore all of his responsibilities. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, shit. Whoa. I broke the game. No, oh, I didn't. I did it. Actually, in real life, if your golf ball was sucked into a black hole, it would not merely be moved around and have its trajectory affected. It would be ripped to shreds as it passed through the event horizon. Apparently, uh, they found a new discovery of this, like, black hole swallowed up a, a star. Yeah. But then it didn't uh, spew out its guts for, like, 100 days. And they're like, oh, why 100 days? <laughs> Well, I don't know the significance of it, but apparently it's kind of significant. That doesn't sound significant to me. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Can you imagine you how long to... it would have taken if the speed of light was 25% slower? Right. Would have been like... I don't even want to think about that. 125 um, days. <laughs> He's right. He's right. <laughs> you gotta go all the way down here. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no mistakes were made. Were they though? Yeah, you think the yes, black hole were. was like mm, 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 this star kind of chewy. Um, excuse me, um, the universe. <laughs> I, I ordered my star medium well, <laughs> and this is medium rare. Uh, adjusts glasses mm. and has like a has a bib on. Oh, man. If the plasma doesn't come on the side, I send it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you meant to go into this uh, hole? I don't believe so. Oh, I almost hoid it. I went in. <laughs> Waiter, this jar. I ordered my jar medium, medium well. It came medium rare. Oh. You guys, uh, uh, you heard about this <gasps> new bit I've been trying to make work, which is guy with a, a restaurant patron with a strong Midwestern accent. No, what was the one that you were doing uh, the other week? It was, um, was it like, uh, like uh, something like with dads? Something with Tired dads. To, oh no, kids, kids with no parents. Uh, <laughs> no, no, parents, no. Parents, yeah. uh, adults with no kids. Yeah, my friends without kids be like. Hey. My friends without kids. That's the one. Yeah. My friends without kids be like. Sorry, wait. Oh, excuse me, I. Hey, uh, waiter, can I stop you right there for a second? Just wondering if I could check on the status of my Caesar salad. Mysterious. <laughs> he loves it. Uh, I knew this was a winner. Yeah, I remembered it. I was are you, thinking about it. The are whole you growing time. the lettuce back there? I just uh, I don't understand why it takes almost a half hour to make a Caesar salad. <laughs> yeah, half hour. I really hope Ryan gets cast in the next season of Fargo. <laughs> you like this one? That's more like. 
all that for a little bit of money. Something like that. Marge Gunderson, okay. one of the preeminent Caesar salad eaters in, in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Okay, never mind. That mouth does not love it. Note to self. Sips okay, loves uh, it. You know, the... I, I can't remember what? any lines from any of the movies or the show, or shows or movie. Uh, that, they put that Whoa. clear coating on at the factory. I, what know, happened I, here? What happened? Oh, do you have to avoid this thing? Who knows, man? Oh, I see. You gotta. It gives you a little boost. Bend it like Beckham. You gotta bend it like Beckham. <laughs> Holy gosh. What the hell happened? I hit the stanchion, man. This golf isn't very realistic. No, you're right. It's not. Did I um? Did I ever tell you guys? I told you guys about my uh, my pretty bad take on not ever wanting to see Adele perform live, right? Mm, I don't think so. No, but, I wouldn't um, remember. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I think. Yeah, because I just figured it would be boring as hell. But um, <laughs> and I yeah, I've gone on and about it a little bit, saying you know I wouldn't want to go watch Adele perform live. I just thought it'd be really boring or whatever. And then I was playing, uh, played up with Hafu earlier, and I was like, hey, do you like Adele? And she's like, I don't know, like, whatever. And I was just about to go into the whole rant about not wanting to see her live. And then she interrupted me, and she's like, you know what, though? I think she's got a residency in, in Las Vegas, and oh. I might go see her, because I think she'd be really awesome live. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to immediately stop. Uh, My friends without kids be like, well, maybe I'll go see Adele this weekend. Oh, man. Who should have a residency in Vegas? Mm, everybody. You know what? Plus two. I, w I want no effects to have a residency in Las Vegas. I think the world is ready. Let's get no effects in there. Yeah. The 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 skate punk band from the 90s. No effects. I know. I know no effects. Okay, maybe maybe Rancid go. could open for them or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rancid Dude. in there too. Yeah, heck yeah. I bet. You know what? I'm calling it now. Nickelback is gonna get a residency. Dude, no yes. way. Yeah, There's I, no way. I, Las Vegas Stranger will not things. stand for it. There's uh, no way. I do it. Have you have you been to Las Vegas? If you walk, I have, yeah. If you walk down the street and tell me that half of the people you see aren't gonna pay out the nose for Nickelback tickets. Everybody is uh. is dressed like the guy from Tiger King who bought <laughs> yeah, the, pretty much, you, yeah. who bought the zoo from uh oh what's his name? I forgot it now. Joe Exotic. Everyone is, right, is dressed yeah. like uh, like that guy. They would love Nickelback. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the, the... Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Exotic Joe. Exotic Joe. Exotic Joe. Sunglasses guy. You know the one I'm talking about. His name's Jeff something. Oh. I just keep wanting to say uh, Jeff Chris. Jeff. You gotta fly Jeff, Jeff Chris down from... Ooh, uh, Jeff Bridges? He could have a residency there. He could. I don't he, know uh, if he sings much, though, does he? He did the movie. Yeah, uh, Crazy Heart. Crazy Heart, yeah. Oh, I never saw that. I do... Um, I, th the thing with Adele, and this is not like a knock. She's obviously very, very talented. But I think like becoming famous as singing because you have a good voice is like really boring. It's like, yeah, oh, so well, she can sing. Yeah. She's got a... I'm not saying she doesn't have a great voice, but like... I'm gonna like go in concert and watch her sing with her great voice. Yeah, that sounds. I, 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 there's a couple of people that I, that I, uh, I said that I wouldn't want to see Adele. I wouldn't want to see like Michael Bublé either. I wouldn't want to go see Celine Dion. Like, no, uh, I, I you agree. know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just like, I don't. Know. I don't even think I would see a show. I, okay, I would not bother. Another. I think <laughs> I want to see something sh exciting. You know, like uh, America's Got Talent. But the winner gets a residency, so like, put the hot dog sucking shooting guy on right, that. Yeah. I would watch him once a day if I lived in Vegas. You know, uh, I, the first time I went to Vegas, you? I, I went you? with my parents. And uh, my dad is always like, he's always trying to beat the, the businesses, right? They get a restaurant, he's like, let me get this. This is probably the lowest margin for the restaurant, and no restaurant's going to make a fool out of me. So the first time we went to Las Vegas, we did not see any of the premier shows. Instead, he was taken in by the people who were like uh, advertising stuff with flyers on the sidewalk. 
So we're like, right. oh, we could go see, like, I don't know who the top stand-up comedian in the world is at the time who was there. But instead, he's like, look, instead of paying, like, 150 bucks a seat for tickets to the Dane Cook show or something like that, we get for 10 bucks we can go see this comedy show. So that we went to a, a, a comedy club inside of an indoor mall. And the opening act got up and they were telling some jokes about how, you know, the, they don't like their wife or whatever. And then, right after that, they said, coming up to the stage is Vanessa. And then a lady came out and did like a full burlesque show uh, yeah. right in the middle of the comedy show. And I was like just sitting there watching it with my mom and dad. This lady's getting, she didn't get naked, but she got like everything but, if you know what I'm saying. She's jiggling around nonetheless. She, she, I mean, there were stickers on the, on the you know what's, but still. And then like right after that, it would be like, here's another like middle-aged guy to come <coughs> out and talk about how much he hates like being asked not to smoke around like a baby or something like that. Like it just kept going on and on and <laughs> on, man. Oh man. I went, to, I went, um, I've only been one time and I went in, it must have been like 2016, maybe 2017. And we went and saw like a Cirque du Soleil show. I can't remember the name of it. Was it but Mystere? It was like, Did it have a large crying clown? No, it had a big pool. That's, it had like I a, believe that's O. Maybe that's the one I saw. We saw that. It was pretty good. Uh, we went to, we, we just went to like a lot of the casinos just to like check them out and stuff. And we went and saw a zombie burlesque show, which was pretty weird. <laughs> oh, wow. And, uh, yeah. And you're telling me Nickelback know. couldn't go off? They're, they got zombie burlesque shows? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the zombie burlesque show is at least like, I don't know, like maybe like a more imaginative or like somewhat <laughs> more artistic. Uh, uh, go back. I mean, come on, man. Like, who wants to hater. go see? I am a hater. I, I am. I don't know who would ever want to go see Nickelback or listen to Nickelback. They're Did still you... making new music and selling out, like... Well, good for them, people. I guess, but, like, still, come on. Dude, I people, don't know anybody who even listens to them. People go to Las Vegas and then get, like, a, a drink served in a, a miniature Eiffel Tower. Like, it's not like people there go there because they have good taste. No, 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 this is no, yeah. this is well, like myself <laughs> included. I mean, like, Jesus, I'm people go there, good, they're like, I'm gonna, I want to stay in a hotel room that looks like a castle from the outside, yeah, but uh, you know, that's fair enough, too. But I don't know, I mean, I have the, you ever I seen the slot the machines people are playing? I think, like, in the in the distant era, the past, people were playing slot machines. They had like bells, gold bars. Now every single one is like the Austin Powers slot machine. Yeah, yeah, Catherine yeah. Heigl slot machine. It's the Karate Kid starring Jaden oh, Smith shit. slot machine. Like this shit is crazy. It's like a cultural wasteland. I think Nickelback would do very well. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know. I just sorry. Oh, honey, hate sorry. Me. We just, we have I we can't. I don't think we can make our mortgage payment this month. Oh, why? What happened? Did you lose your job? No, I pumped my whole paycheck into the Sex in the City 2 <laughs> slot machine. <laughs> the, the one where they go to Dubai. <laughs> that is what it's like. It's insane. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. It's just, I almost had, I'm telling you. I just needed one more Samantha. I had four, I was one Samantha away from a jackpot. And they oh, gave shit. me a they gave me a damn Mr. Big. Dude, that's like you and your McDonald's airport. I but I just need one. I'm, I'm just <laughs> it's total it's completely different. I'm only one away. Uh, I only need the I have the other three airports, so I only need YVR. I'm seventy five percent of the way there. Wait, YVR is that Calgary? That's Vancouver, excuse me. Vancouver Oh yeah, Y V R Just like no, I've only been there like three times. <laughs> It's a good airport. It's uh, it, it's one best uh, North American airport, like twelve years running. Maybe you've Ooh. heard of it. It's no, a, not a high bar. <laughs> Such a big fan of its of its movies and his fashion. <clears throat> Vancouver <throat> Airport. Um, before they redid it, because my par my grandparents used to live in uh, Victoria, and I'd go out and visit them in the uh, in the summer when I was a kid. 
and uh, I think it must have been built in the 50s or the 60s. And the, the, the decoration color of choice back then was brown for some reason. Like the whole airport was brown with hints of like light brown and some mm-hmm. beiges and stuff. Like it just looked like ass for years and years and years. But now it looks amazing. Like it has, it has like an indoor tropical garden. It does. That, it has a rainforest They did it all display. up for the Olympics when the Olympics were in uh, Vancouver, right? Was it 20... 2010. 2010, yeah. But as before that, it looked like shit. As somebody who didn't live here and didn't have to pay for the Olympics, I think the Olympics are one of the best things Vancouver's ever done. All the nice stuff about the city uh, came as a result of the Olympics. And in my eyes, it was free. Yeah, well, that's good. Good for you. I mean, you didn't. I think it's like I don't know. Like I mean, when the, when London hosted the Olympics and stuff, I think everything just was like crazy expensive for. Yeah, and that then the logo period looks like of time, but uh, then it's Simpson like... uh, giving Bart Simpson a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> Step brother. <laughs> oh, what well, people are—we've well, we, now passed through the the eye of the needle. People are like, "What are you talking about? Haven't you seen the London 2012 logo?" First, you're gonna yeah, look at it and you're gonna be like, "That doesn't look like Lisa." Simpson. It was one of those. Yes, yeah, so you gotta it stare at it weird, for like a half yeah, hour, and some people saw it right away, and I'm still staring at it. It's like I don't get. You I just find it. find like a colorized version on Google Images. You'll see it. You can want, e- she's even wearing like the the pearls that Lisa Simpson wears. Wait, she doesn't wear pearls, does she? <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. It's Marge that wears them. No, like mother, too? like daughter. She got. Oh yeah, no, you maybe you're right. Actually, God, it's been so long since I watched The Simpsons. It's all on Disney Plus. My kid tried to watch some Simpsons this weekend. I said, "What uh, the uh, heck? Uh, itchy uh, and scratchy." Is back. What uh, what does your what does your daughter watch mostly now? Like, what's the almost what's the exclusively show uh, Peppa Pig? And I, I want to go off on a little bit of a rant because Bluey is a good show. Everybody yeah. says Bluey is amazing. I've even read some comments that uh, have sent me over the edge that said, we wait till our kids go to sleep and then me and my spouse watch Bluey. I'm going to be honest what? with you. It's It sounds like you and your spouse are great parents. It sounds like you're you know, mother and father of the year. That shit is uh, stupid. You should not yeah. be... What, watch, and I'm, look, I, watch an adult show like Married at First Sight for crying in the Yeah, wa- watch some... Like, Bluey's fine, but like if you're watching this as an adult, I, like, willfully, I do fear for... Like, honestly, you should go to Las Vegas because I'm sure there's a lot of burlesque shows and some concerts that would be interesting for you. Yeah, zombie burlesque. I could, I can highly recommend. It was, uh, it was something <laughs> else. Look, it's not like um, it's not like w- watching like Coco Melon. If you watch Coco Melon as an adult, you should be in prison. But like Bluey is just more like, come on, you got to have some more respect for your media diet. Why don't you watch a show with like some fucking some fucking dragons or something and the Aegon and the Dagon and the I haven't Snagon watched any of the new any of that new stuff. The, you watch a show where like a the... guy cooks meth or something like that, like a bald guy cooks meth. Do you guys have you guys watched the new Lord of the Rings or um No. Uh, the, I heard the, the, writing the new was Game of bad. Thrones stuff and whatever. I haven't watched any of it. No. And, the, and Andor, have you seen Andor? No. 